Hey, it's me, Gixie, and welcome to Last Epoch. And we are going to be playing this for the first time. Let's go solo. And we are going to choose our character. Um, we have three different characters right now we can choose from and choose how we're going to go. Um, we can choose from a Void Knight. who has a melee attack that hits all enemies. In front of you, enemy killed by the hit race from extinction replaced by void rifts. Paladin, you and nearby enemies passively have added elemental protection and vitality. Holy Aura provides 100% increased stat effects if you have activated it in the last four seconds. Or Forge Guard. Um, your main attack is a forge strike, a main, main attack that hits all enemies in an area in front of you. 20% chance on hit to manifest a sword which lasts for 10 seconds and is affected by the stats and attack rate of your weapon. Okay. Let's see. Or we can choose a primalist, a warrior from the north who has seen the horrors of war firsthand. Primalist seeks communion with the power of Edera, the power of the earth. He can be a beast master who's. Oh, well, I was just reading the thing. A warrior who takes command with the might of the beast, leading them by example with strength and power. A shaman, living storm, that uses the power of tornadoes and lightning to destroy their enemies with the aid of sacred totems. Or a druid, who is in tune with the long and dormant power of the earth. They bend the fury of nature to their will, even as they take the form of ferocious creatures. Okay. Well, I messed up on the first one. We'll just do the last two. An acolyte is a rebellious, rebellious scion who disobeyed their masters to seek out forbidden magic. The acolyte will let nothing stop them from becoming more powerful. You can be a lich, which is an acolyte who has embraced the corrupted nature of their power and uses the magic of blood and death even at the expense of their own health. A necromancer, which is a commander of undeath, they send their animated thralls to battle perfectly willing to sacrifice them as they de seem deemed fit, or that's it because the warlock hasn't been implemented yet. Okay. We are going to be a druid. That's what we're going to go for. So let's put our name in. So this game is supposed to be like um, Path of Exile and uh, it is has to do with time travel and um, fantasy. Okay, let's see how we move here. Okay, so we have a have a companion. Well, I'm glad I have a companion right now because I 
Okay, this is just a fire. Hit it. So there is a storyline that we'll get to eventually when we get somewhere. Oh, we hit a level. Gain the spell. Okay, we're at the Traveler's Camp. So let's talk to Versalia. These backwoods simply cannot end soon enough. Majoka awaits my return. I'm sure I butchered that name. Okay, so we can, why would the city of Majoka be waiting on you. The temple of Majasa is at odds with the commoners once again. It is my duty as an artist to bridge this gap with my talents, my vision. Our God insists that the gates to the city are, are barred and that I am wasting my time, but that's ridiculous. I paid my tithe to the diamond matrons. They would never turn me away. I thought I was hired to scare off school and not babysit a spoiled artist. Okay, scaring off school and the little dirt crawlers have never really been a threat unless they're, you, they outnumber you or you catch you in a trap. Lately though, they've been getting more aggressive. Used to be, you'd never see them sneak around this close to a camp. Aside from that, these roads are safer than any of the sea routes, you, if you ask me. Okay. Cadus. First thing I'm going to do when we reach Relin, Welrin, is get my hands on a stiff drink, help steal myself for the journey home to Solarum. Okay, you're going to Welrin. Yes, the City of Scholars. It's recently been welcomed into the simplest wings of Rahim, Rayan's domain. Although, ever since then, the other cities can't help but assume the worst. It's the spreading of Rayan's glory, and they call it conquest. Unbelievable. Okay, you're from Solarum. Yes, glorious Solarum, where Rayan's proud flames burn. Listen, you don't believe the slander the others believe, do you? Oh, solemn soldiers camping in the mountains and preparing for war. Nothing but paranoia, paranoia I tell you. Okay. Traitor Periton. This trip has been a joy, but I've been away from... Threadium... Threadima too long. For far too long. What has kept you from Threadima? for so long. Lagan's storms have kept me from Therma Harbor locked down for weeks now. But you know what they say. Trade waits for no one. My partner is operating from the cart. If you want to take a look at our wares, take, take care of yourself now. Okay, so tell me about your trip. Ah, uh, healthy trees and leaves crunching underfoot. I can't recall the last time I trekked through the forest like this. Years on the sea have a way of making a man nostalgic. Though I admit I can't wait to get back on my ship. Okay, who is this now? It's Farger. Bob, these lands are too far too warm and Herbora Herbora Boria is too far worse yet yeah, this that Solomon dog Tatus won't shut his yap. What brings you so far from here, Herborea? 
war and these dogs would, that would deny it exist. Salarum soldiers have been raiding the tribes between these, their mountains in Hiobora, claiming self-defense. High Chief Manur Yulia herself sent me to warn the other lands of Rayan's thirst for conquest, but with little luck so far. Herat's breath, I wish you had sent Grell with me. He was always better at this sort of thing. Okay. A lot of people to talk to. Okay. Trader Corden, fellow worry traveler, care to see my wares. I don't really think. Can't afford anything right now, so all right. I thought there would be some kind of quest for us or something, but apparently not right now. This toe. I guess we'll keep going and see what we can find. Okay, they automatically go on. Okay, here we go. I'm getting a little bit better at this. Um, Gift of Wilderness. Passive System Introductory. Gaining passive no points. Gaining passive no points by leveling up and completing quests. Once you have 20 points into your base pass class passive tree, you may unlock all of your mastery class passive tree allowing you to invest points in them ascending to mastery once you invest enough points into a mastery class passive tree you may ascend to that mastery class this allows you to unlock skills and nodes and prevent you from ascending to another mastery okay gift of wilderness natural attunement There we go.
Oh, crud. Let's go back this way and open up, see if we can open up more area. Totem. Okay. Okay, requires level ten. There is blessing. Some saber tooth, some frenzy totem. Oh, that's not to level twenty. Okay. Let's see. So we got all this done. Now let's continue on. First off, let's see. Is this club better? 13 physical damage. 12%.
Okay, let's see. They took her. They they took her. The shard is in danger. Lena, the keeper, Balthus. Lena, my daughter. There's only so long before they find out she has the shard. There's little time. Please help us. Our people, the keepers, have protected the shard since the beginning of memory. It must be kept from the others, kept from the kept from the temple. Edera, save us. Okay, I'll do what I can. Thank you. Forgive me for laying this fate upon you. All right. So we have our first quest. <coughs> that would be Mandy. Okay, let's go this way first. Let's see if they took her this way. Okay, that just leads us back where we came from. So let's stop and do this real fast. Um, I will save them. Let's go.
Oh, almost went off the edge. Keep for Lena. Did Balthus send you? I see you. Ra Ra's, Ra's forces are not finished with us. We don't have much time before more of them arrive. Why were they attacking you? My people have guarded the shards since the days of Atira was still spoke with us. Raya's commanders learned of its existence and have been hunting us down. They will they do not know the threat it poses if it were rejoined with the others. What do we do? Please take the shard with you and protect it with your life. I'll distract the reinforcements quick. Use the shard. Take the shard. Okay. Find signs of other people in the Yotari tree, or Law Tree Cliffs. Uh, okay, I think this is where we're going to end this episode. So, um... I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope to see you in the next one. Again, my name is It's Me Gixie. Until next time, happy gaming.